Welcome back to In Photoshop 1. If you are drawing a 3D object in Illustrator and you want to add a pattern or texture to the object, it would make more sense for your texture to be warped to the contour of a curved surface rather than just being overlaid. Here I have an object that looks a bit like a hood scoop to a car. We are going to overlay a pattern of lines to keep it simple. I will begin with my object and rectangle. With my rectangle selected, I will set my fill to my desired pattern. Before I can warp my pattern, I first have to go to the top menu and select Object Expand, then hit OK. Now, to warp my pattern, I will go to the top menu and select Effect Warp. In this menu, you will be given several different transforming options. You can arc, bulge, shell, flag, wave, fisheye, rise, inflate, squeeze, and twist. Your selection will vary depending on the surface of your rendered object. For my object, I will use bulge. A pop-up window will appear with different options based on the warping method you chose. I can adjust the bend and distortion. When finished, click OK. If I pull my pattern into place, you can see how the appearance of depth and dimension is upheld with the wrapping lines. Now, I can take this new shape and make it into a new pattern. Simply click and drag it into your pattern swatches window. Now, I will delete the lines. Select my hood scoop and click Add New Fill in the Appearance panel. Then, I will click the arrow tab on my fill layer and select my newest pattern swatch. I can scale my pattern using tilde S, rotate with tilde R, and move the pattern with the grave accent key, also known as the tilde key without holding shift. On my object, the bottom is where the bending begins. Because I have used lines as my pattern, it is easy for me to identify the start of my bulge. There is one line that appears to be straight, the horizon if I may call it that. I will match this line with the bottom of my object. And so you can see how you might start adding some detail to your renderings. Maybe this object is a rubber grip. But regardless, this is the stuff that's going to take your work to that next level of fidelity. If you're interested in learning more about your patterns and textures in Illustrator, please do check out my other videos where I will show you how to give a pattern color and how to make your own pattern. As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.